Yeah, so you see, the technical competence of the product and uh, reliability and confidence in the product is something I'll not talk about since railway minister and the railway ministry themselves have decided that this is the path we'll follow three years back. I'm assuming they have good confidence okay. in the product. Mm. So if they have good confidence in the product, rolling, mm. uh, limiting yourself to same 1400 kilometers for uh, three years is uh, inexcusable. Uh, it seems uh, uh, there's no vision as to how to roll out coverage in large numbers. I remember statement of the top man of railways, not the minister, the CEO, that industry is not geared up. And that's why rollout is getting delayed. Gearing up the industry is railway's job. If you give them enough assurance of orders, if you give them confidence that we are in it together, industry would definitely come up. So I would say the progress is poor. Nothing short. Nothing less than that, perhaps worse. Okay, would you just spend a minute, minute and a half, two minutes explaining to our viewers very briefly, those who may, you know, there are viewers, there are many who have heard this coverage system over the last few years repeatedly, but may not understand. And and it's a very yeah. simplistic understanding of coverage system. Many think it's an anti-collision system, but it's beyond yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, you're very right. Those from the opposition say that this has been started 20 years back, anti-collision system, which is just half the half truth. An anti-collision system was developed and it deployed in North Frontier Railway. It was purely an anti-collision system based on devices placed in locomotives and ground only to prevent collision. It had some successes, some failures. When it was decided to expand the scope of the system, RDSO, that's the R&D wing of uh, railways, decided that they would go for a comprehensive signaling system and anti-collision would be a part of it. So that, this is a different ball game altogether. It not only enhances safety, but because of being signaling system where, as you just mentioned, this uh, in adverse weather or otherwise, the signaling and that the driver follows is available in the cab itself. He doesn't have to depend on the signal and vision through his mm. uh, naked eye vision of the signals. So it's a comprehensive signal sig signaling system. It not only adds to safety, but also adds to capacity to run more trains because signals are, not are now available in the cab itself. So more trains can also be run. There are multiple mm. advantages. So uh, in brief for your viewers, Kavach is an entire is a sig they can understand by uh, by uh, picturing that the signals that you see all along the track would be in a way redundant it's all be it will all be available in the cab itself so it's a comprehensive signaling system and anti collision is also one of the component of the system Okay, also, would you try, would you put it in perspective for us? The minister has said there have also been hirings that have been done, jobs have also been given in the railways. But how does one really look at this? Because, you know, every time accidents come out, there are facts that are coming out that the locomotive pilot has been overworked, that there's been a system that has failed, the, the, the signaling system failed, the, the, the instruction that was passed on or handed on was not correct. There are so many such facts that come out. Um, there are also reports of how there are posts that are still vacant within the railways. And the minister is saying hirings have been done. So how do you look at this? Okay, so in respect of manpower and vacancies, I'll not get into this discourse of what happened during UPA time and what's happening now. Uh, overall strength of railways is going down. And I think it is correct because railways, like so many other government departments, has been overstaffed. So I look at it that way. But coming to mm. certain categories. Okay. Now, let me see, super uh, super safety category. There are same, many safety categories, but there are categories like local uh, pilot, assistant local pilot, station master, pointsman, mm. signal maintainer also, mm. train manager, the guard who's all called train. These are, these are uh, posts in which the employee does not get even a minute free. He has to be intensely on duty all the time. And it's not as if the job, like I was a general right. manager, I could I could enjoy my afternoon off. Such luxury is not available to these hmm. posts. They are the key safety posts. So if you have vacancies in these categories, then it is going to result in overwork of, of uh, those who are already available. 
so i'll not talk okay. about railways in general but you okay. should not have vacancies in these categories which we found they had a large number and after the accident they suddenly increased the vacancies which showed that there is lack of seriousness in filling up these safety categories and last question sir um you know the minister has said accidents have decreased over the last 5 years um when we look at instances and we are looking of course we are not looking at all the instances we have not covered all the accidents all the mishaps all the derailments the fire we have not covered all of that we have looked at some big accidents that have happened but how do you look at this light i mean it's it's unfair to even say something like that because every life is precious every yeah. life lost is a loved one lost for a family and that is irreplaceable but how do you look at this fact is it true yeah no dispassionately if we look at it the statement is not incorrect number of fatalities and number of accidents has gone down but as you said this is not the time to look at that data now technology is available kavach was not available long back certain technologies are available like artificial intelligence which can be used as i have said on your show earlier to generate alerts and build in a safety culture these technologies have come in in last 5 10 years so this is time to go for zero accident if we move towards zero accident we may have some but Uh, therefore data is not important what is important is the capabilities al- available today can actually take railways towards zero fatality zero accident scenario and that's what we should be working on right mr sudan shumani thank you very much for joining us for putting Pleasure. in things in perspective and of course adding much to it as usually as you do thank you 